It's a hot one today. Fortunately, the water is nice and cold. I'm gonna sit down in here and do my intro. Uh, today is uh, the third installment of filming underwater in the Vedder River. And I'm going to show you guys the Lickman area. This is a spot that's changed completely from last year. It's a big high water in, I think it was February, and, and it kind of really changed the river around. This spot in particular is very different from last year. And I'm um, looking forward to exploring it with you guys, and uh, we'll see what we see. See you in the water. It looks like at Lickman Road this year. Nice shallow run, and then this is where we get into the fishy water. This is where the salmon are going to pile up. Unfortunately, the run's much smaller than it was last year. Last year, this was like a, I don't know, half a kilometer of, of viable run. This year, there's a whole bunch of logs in here. And uh, the nice, long, quiet run that used to be down there is kind of washed out and it's all shallow. So, unfortunately, not as much room for everybody. But um, yeah, it's, it, it looks like it's in nice shape. Water is nice and clear today. I hope we find some cool fish to look at. There might even be the first salmon or two in here this time of year. They start to trickle in, but there are so few, it's hardly worth fishing for them. This is about the end of the Lickman area. This little spot is just downstream from the parking lot, maybe a couple hundred meters. The river makes a sharp corner here. A little bit of frog water that's going to hold some coho later on in the season. But those don't really show up till the very end of September. Beautiful, beautiful evening light.
wraps it up. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed going on this little adventure with me.